In 2018, I made a video on how to get started wholesaling with just $1,000. But my question is, does that apply in 2021? Hey, what's up guys? It's Max Maxwell, real estate investor and serial entrepreneur. And when I got my first real estate deal back in 2016, I didn't even have enough money for the due diligence check, but I made $14,000. So is it possible to start with a thousand? Absolutely, and I'm gonna show you how. All right guys, it's 2021, and let me start off by saying that there is so many apps when it comes to doing wholesaling. Technology has exploded in the last four to five years ever since I started. I remember driving for dollars and having to take screenshots of Apple and Redfin and Zillow just to go home and write it down on an Excel sheet. So here's what I will say. You do not need any apps to start this business. You don't need them, they help, they make things easier, but you don't need them. So don't use the excuse of not having the money to start. And if I were you and I only had $500, Here's what I would do. The first thing I'd do is drive for dollars. And I really mean it, because that's how I got my first two deals. And what driving for dollars does for you is it allows you to learn the areas that you're going to be working in. It's that simple. You're gonna be driving in and out of streets and neighborhoods that you've never been before or neighborhoods you haven't visited in so many years. But you're gonna be able to witness trends in neighborhoods in person. You're gonna be able to see which houses have been newly painted, which houses are currently being rehabbed because they got the big blue dumpster or the big brown dumpster out front. You're gonna be able to see these things and be able to pick up trends, things you can't see from the internet. So driving for dollars and identifying physically distressed properties in upcoming areas is the best way to actually get started. And when you only have a few dollars, and you don't have the money to go buy apps, this is the absolute best way. So make sure you bring a pen, make sure you bring a pad and write down these addresses the old fashioned way and the only money you're gonna spend is on gas. Now with $500 or less to start this business, we all know the best marketing you can ever do. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It's called consistency. So if you go drive for one weekend and you think that's all you need to get a deal, uh -uh, that's not how it works you have to keep driving for dollars. So every moment or every free moment that you have, you need to be out there driving to go out and find these physically distressed properties. So my number one marketing tip for you, especially because you don't have any money right now and you want to get started, is to be consistent. I want you to become the king, the queen, when it comes to driving for dollars. Don't worry about cold calling, don't worry about text messaging, don't worry about sending mail right now. I want you to master the art of finding deals, driving your car, or pedaling your bike. I don't care what it is, because if you remember other videos that I talked about making the sacrifice, this is the sacrifice you have to make in order to get where you want to go. If you don't have a car, ride a bike. You don't have a bike, switch on and off the bus route and go to different bus routes. If you don't have that, find a friend that will drive around that will split you, split with you your first deal. I don't know, you can figure it out if there's a will, there's a way. Now one place I would spend my money on once you do gather all these houses is data. You're gonna need to spend your money on good data because if you can't get a hold of the potential homeowner or the potential seller, the homeowner, then you're never gonna be able to close a deal. First thing you should do is try to reach, use the free searches, free people search, or you know, all these other places that you can find people's information. Or you can definitely use REI Skip because it's the number one place to actually go out there and find information on people. This is gonna give you numbers. But here's the cool thing. You're only gonna pay 15 cents per record that you actually find. So with $500 budget, this is where you're gonna be spending the bulk of your money. And with $500, you can get over 3,000 skip traced addresses back that you can make the phone calls. And hopefully right now, even the device that you're watching this video on right now is activated and you have a phone plan, you can make those phone calls directly from your cell phone. Remember, you only got $500, so we're not gonna go out and spend any money on these tools or these apps that can help you call from a third number or a fourth number. Use your cell phone. I did exactly that when I started this business because heck, I didn't even know about any other things that you can use to dial out from your phone. 
So use your phone, spend the money on skip tracing, but you have to keep driving around and around and around. So I say 100 bucks in gas, $400 in skip tracing stuff, and you're gonna get your first deal. And remember, the number one marketing you can do is be consistent. And keep this in mind, if you're not obsessed with finding your first deal, if you're not obsessed with the process of understanding wholesaling or learning real estate or real estate investing, this is not gonna work. I've seen people with absolutely nothing, not even a car, not even a bicycle, get their first deal because they had determination and hustle. So if you don't have that, you might as well cut this video off now because it's not gonna work for you. Excuses are for the weak. If there's a will, there's a way. I've said this many times. Now, if you wanna see the tactics on actually how to go out and drive for dollars, I've got plenty of videos that I'm gonna leave the link up below on actually how to go out and do it. It's simple, it's easy, but you must remain consistent. Now, here's a question to you. Are you watching TV or are you watching educational stuff? And even if you are watching educational stuff, just because you're watching doesn't mean you're gonna go out and implement it. Now that I've told you that you can start with $500 or less, Keep in mind that you can watch videos all day long and never get anything done. So you must watch the videos and then go implement right away. What are you still doing here watching this video? Smash the like button and get out of here. I'll see you in the next one.